Hello, everybody. I'm here to ask you for your help in getting my music to America. I'm heading west. Hi, my name is Grace, and I'm a singer songwriter. And for as long as I can remember, I've been writing songs. Sometimes I'm tempted to think it's destiny since I took my first step on a tour bus crisscrossing the country with my folk singer parents, Jonathan Edwards and Carolina Edwards. My father had the hit song Sunshine back in the 70s, weaving his country music, rock, and bluegrass. And he's been a very respected folk music icon ever since. And my mother's sensitive songwriting gave her a hit song while they were living in Canada. The song was called Nova Scotia, and I was born soon after that. I think that growing up, watching them go out on stage, pouring their lives into their songwriting night after night, really set me up to channel my experiences through music. When my parents split up, my mother took me to Kenya. And we went on to live in many different countries, different cultures, different families. And all of that really had a huge impact on me. As I grew up and came into my own, naturally I found myself traveling too. Living back and forth from the U.S. to Africa to Europe to India and even Jamaica. I think all this really comes through in my music where I'm pulling up from my roots in American folk and finding some common ground in all of the music and rhythm that I met along the way. As it turns out, Paris was central to my travels. I met some amazing musicians there from all over the world, and I started to play out more and do shows and concerts, and the project just grew in this sort of urban, underground scene and led me back to Africa to record my first album in Senegal with my newly formed band, The Victory Riders. When I returned from Senegal, I found myself with a record deal with Mercury France, and with that I was able to do a music video in Morocco for the song Imagine One Day. During that time, we got to do over 150 concerts and festivals, mainly in France and Hall of Mirrors went gold. As I was writing my new album, I found myself really longing to reconnect with my American roots and my family. And I think that's why my musical heritage comes through in these songs and why I wanted my dad to play on the album, and it's why we took the direction we did with the arrangements, production, and even eventually choosing to mix with Jimmy Douglas in his studio in Miami. It's organic by nature, it's totally free, and it's totally honest. And working with the people involved is incredible. It's one of those projects that you get that becomes like a joy. really surprised to find that after making this new album with the intention of bringing it to America, that my record label actually had no power to release it anywhere outside of France. So I thought it was time to get back to basics, to what making music is really all about. And for me, it's about people. It's people saying, man, we want to hear you play. Building a good house, we gotta start with a strong foundation. And for me, as a singer-songwriter, a strong foundation is based on live music. To be able to create, to share, to interact with real music lovers. 
So, brothers and sisters, friends and family, if this is something you feel you want to be part of, I'm asking you to show your love and support right now and help me bring my band to America. I'm so excited to finally be able to interact with you in this way, and I really look forward to seeing you on the road very soon. You tell everyone that I was made for change. You tell everyone that I was made for change.